Next guest says uh, the Santa Claus rally in stocks will continue through the end of the year. Here with more, uh, Yardeni Research President uh, Ed Yardeni. And um, we've got a lot to think about here, Ed, because it's all happening yep. for you. It's all coming true. Um, the things that you've been talking about with us for the past uh, six months, you've, you've like nailed this. Then I was thinking about um, Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett go back to 75. What do we go back? When were you at Were you, in, were you there at 80, in 84 at Hutton? Uh, uh, I think I had moved by then to uh, what was then called Prudential Beach. You had moved by then, but yeah. uh, you, you were there prior to that when I was at Merrill, yeah. I think, and I followed your work. You, I, I think of you as more of a... Uh, an overall economist, but when you've come on the show recently, you've been a total stock market forecaster. <laughs> right. Right? Yeah, is that, that's kind of a change for you, but you were right. And so what you're saying now, and, and that was, you're basically saying inflation's going to moderate, Fed's Correct. not going to have to go any further. This is a, a much hated stock market rally. It does mm -hmm. have legs, and right. I, I think it's all come to fruition, and you think it's going to continue. I do. I, I think the economy has uh, proven its resilience uh, since early last year when a lot of people were anticipating a recession. Uh, actually, early last year, I said we're actually in a recession. It's just a rolling recession affecting different industries at different times. We had something like that in the mid-1980s. I also felt uh, that uh, inflation would turn out to be very spiky, as, as it often is. Uh, there's a lot of worries that it was going to be like the 1970s all over again. Uh, but in fact, it's turned out to be relatively tr uh, transitory. I know for some people that uh, that, that seems a little bit uh, naive to say that it was um, transitory. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, in the in, in the scope of history, uh, it, it really has come down re remarkably quickly here in a very symmetrical fashion. And a lot of that's uh, been led by goods. I think rent inflation is going to come down. And on the good side, one of the reasons we haven't had to have a re did not have a recession or have not had to have a recession to bring it down is because China's done it for us. China's in a recession, and we import a lot of goods from China, and their imp the the prices of what we import from them has come down a lot. So there's a lot going on here, a lot of moving parts. Um, I, I did uh, turn more optimistic on the bonds at four and a quarter percent, and it was pretty miserable there in, in August, September, and October. But here we are, almost back to that level. Back to four and a quarter. You, it, there's been articles written that the 5,000 club is growing uh, yeah. for, for the S&P, and no one was there um, back when we were at the, God, it's a year ago, the October lows. Now we got to figure, we got to say which October. So we meant the, yeah. the, the October from 13 mm -hmm. months ago. Those lows, yeah. no one was in the 5,000 club well, uh, then. Um, and, and you say, yeah. but maybe you were, but now you I say, was, yeah. yeah, sign yourself up for the rip roaring 2020s. What does that mean? 5,000 yeah. and beyond? Yeah. yeah. In, in a late October of last year, I thought that uh, we had made the low on October 12th. And I uh, started uh, talking about 4,600 uh, by the end of this year. We got there by the Ju by July. And, you know, the tendency, the human tendency is to say, okay, let's double up here. Uh, but I, I thought that uh, we might have a, a correction, and that, in fact, played out. Th this year has really turned out to be, with the benefit of hindsight, uh, a very classic year. Uh, you know, third term of a presidential election. We had a January effect, which was very bullish. We had um, a... Uh, an October, a September and October sell-off, and now we've got this uh, year-end uh, Santa Claus rally. But even a year ago, I th when I was started to predict uh, 2024, I said we could get to 5,400, which f seemed far-fetched and delusional. But now, as you said, there's more people joining that well, are club. You, what, are you in the 6,000 club? I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not there yet. But uh, let's 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 get it over five thousand, and then ask me again. But right. yeah, look, I I think like uh, I'm in the Berk Berkshire Hathaway camp, uh, in the uh, Buffett Munger camp. That uh, you know, stocks really are meant to be held for, for the long run. Uh, a lot of the Wall Street's pessimists did a pretty good job of telling people to get out uh, early last year. They 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 forgot to tell everybody to get back in, and they remained bearish. Uh, the stock market over the long run does extremely well. Because yeah. the economy does extremely well. Right. To really make bonds, to, to really float my boat for bonds like a 10-year, mm -hmm. we need a really crappy secular bear market. I mean, because 
I mean, it, stocks are going to outperform. But that's the best you'll get is 4%. That's all, okay. You get your money back. Okay. You get 4% yeah. a year. You get your money. I get it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if you're any good at all, like, for what you do, I think you can find a dividend uh, yielder that's going to grow mm -hmm. over time and, you know, maybe protect the downside and... Uh, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It just depends on your personal situation. Well, but I, 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 I could never get too excited about bonds. It yeah, much depends on inflation, Joe. And yeah. if, uh, I think inflation is coming back down to 2 2.5% two uh, within you the do. next uh, 12 to 18 months. Well, we've got a lot of powerful technology. That, and, that, you know, and then you right. mentioned it, we're importing some of that from China, too, which who, who, yeah. who knew that uh, yeah. that, that was going to help well, us? That's, that's the, yeah. yeah, thank you. So we go back to early 80s. Then that's not quite 1975. Yeah, I, so. I mean, I am talking about the roaring 2020s as a, as a real possibility for the rest of this decade. No kidding. Technology-led innovation boosts productivity. You know what followed the original roaring 20s, Ed? I mean, um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know whether well, that's I, so I, good. I, I do, but that was a big government mistake, uh, and the government. Oh, that could uh, never. That could never <laughs> that could happen never again. again. That could never happen again. Look at yeah, these they, great guys they we got in charge. Smooth Holly tariff. Yeah. 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 Well, we're in. Yeah. Clear sailing from here on out with these guys.